Hi you guys and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Alana, and we're going to be watching Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse's official trailer, alright? This has been a minute since the first one has come out. This one is dedicated um, around Miles Morales. Everybody had loved the first one. I know in my opinion I heard nothing but great, great um, praises about it. I myself enjoyed it. My kids enjoyed it. Everybody around me had enjoyed it. I don't, I don't think I really heard anything too bad about it. I have watched it so many times, especially when it first dropped. I fell in my household. It was on instant repeat. Um, even the song, Sunflower, Lord Jesus. I can still hear that song on the radio. That was overplayed. So they had a lot of kind of everything around it. I'm excited to see what this one is about. It had great animation, had a great story last um, movie. So I'm excited to see what this one's going to be about. I know, I think I saw a, a little preview of Gwen popping back up. So I guess in this trailer it will give me a little bit more insight. So on that note, let's just jump right on in. Let's go. New trailer starts now. <laughs> Across the Spider-Verse. Sony and Columbia. I'm excited to see how this animation is going to be in this one. Why are you being quiet, Mom? Oh. Hope I didn't ice your game, man. Are you sure you game, man? Age, those words in that order. <laughs> what does that mean? It's just hard to see my little man not being my little boy all the time. That's how I feel! For years, I've been taking care of this little boy. Mm-hmm. You know, you're a big boy. Look at Stan. I love how they still incorporate him. Making sure he's loved. Mm-hmm. That he feels like he belongs wherever he wants to be. Mm, I feel you, Mom. He wants to go out into the world and do great big things. He can. Not bad, kid. <laughs> and what I worry about most... I love you, Mom. Oh, family look out for you like us miles want to get out of here wherever you go from here you have to promise to take care of that little boy for me yes ma'am make sure he never forgets where he came from at all so we're gonna actually go inside the universe thing and now for like he never doubts that he is loved constantly Ooh, who and is that never lets Anyway, oh, bro. Tell him that he doesn't belong there. Wow. You gotta promise, Miles. I promise. Oh. Is he gonna be able to keep that promise? Is the question. So many versions of Spider Man. This is a paper bag? Spider Man? Good guys. We are. Hmm, so this would be a bad Spider-Man. Of course, a bad Spider-Man. Alright, hmm. I'm going to rewatch this. Oh, let's keep playing. Play has no limits. Oh, of course they're going <laughs> to... Shout out the PS5. Even though you can't steadily buy them at the store. Poor people. Uh, I understand the struggle of trying to procure one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and rewatch this. I'll probably try to give my little two cents here and there. One, two, three, four. Sony animation. Grew his little afro out. He got his hair growed out. This is where so y'all can hear you being quiet. No one my age says those words in that order. So I'm thinking here at an ICO game. It feels as if maybe he was trying to holler at a shorty and she butted in and she messed him up. So maybe this is where we see Gwen like trying to have him come hang with her in the the Spider Verse or whatever, and she came and probably said, "No, nah, bro, no." Uh, I get it, mom. It's okay. It's hard out here for us moms. <laughs> It's just hard to see my little man not being my little boy all the time. Mm. That I felt that. For years, I've been taking care of this little boy. 
They just grow up on you. Like, where'd Tab go? This cheesy outfit. Okay, so we have that this version of Peter. Feels like he belongs wherever he wants to be. He wants to go out into the world and do great big things. So it seems as though also that he's um helping the city still. And he has friends alongside him, which is probably the, the Peter from the first one helping him out. And Gwen probably here and there as well. Yeah. And what I worry about most. I love you, Mars. Oh, pop! They won't look out for they you. They look kind of frustrated here, so they they must be at a, a crossroads. Maybe that he's um, growing up a little bit. Um, them probably not wanting him to grow up, and he ready to grow up, and then they probably started exchange words more than likely. I feel like if boys in their teenage years, um, they start to try to grow their own personnel, which is fine, but I know it can cause some friction here and there with their parents, especially with him being Spider-Man. That probably is an extra additional pressure on him. Is they won't look out for you like us. Miles! Wanna get out of here? Wherever you go from here, you have to promise to take care of that little boy for me. Make sure he never forgets where he came from. <laughs> He's always around. What does he have on his stomach? Is that like a little bag that he wants food that he's eating out of? Like, what is this? What is he holding? What is that? And he never doubts that he is. It's like a little pouch that you have a baby in or something. And he never lets anyone tell Oh, him something happened here. All right, so we see this version of um, Spider-Man here. We see him with his child. I don't, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but I believe it looks like a girl here. Viella. It is a girl. So something must have happened to her. And he's probably angry, so this is probably going to be the, the bad guy that Miles is probably going to have to confront. Maybe he's he's been Spider-Man, but he must have... Every Spider-Man loses somebody that they love. And this is probably the one that he loved here that he wasn't able to save. Tell him that he doesn't belong. There. Oh, wow. Was that his wife? So the, the shorty that I was saying, oh, she's so cute. Look at that fro. Go, girl. Yes, yes, yes. I wonder is that his wife Tell may be him helping that. him. Or maybe it's a, another version of a Spider-Man or whatever. And she has the same loss as he does. And they're probably working together. He doesn't belong there. She looks saddened, though. Hmm. You gotta promise, Miles. I promise. Who do you think you are? Really? That was him yelling at Miles. We are supposed to be the good guys. Oh, he's yelling at all of them. Ain't right though. You gonna have little Miles getting beat up by Big Buff Daddy? Like that ain't nice. <laughs> I gotta feel bad for him. But yes, you guys, that is my reaction to Spider-Man Across the Spider Verse. It seems as if the story is probably going to be centered around a bad Spider-Man who's losing someone that they really care for, which is their child of some sort, and then has this vendetta I don't know against whom or whatever maybe he's trying to turn back time maybe they're trying to mess with the, the spider verse altogether and it's gonna cause some bad stuff to happen if he were to do it and we have Miles Gwen and them probably trying to stop him of some kind of I don't know but it I, you could see the bad spider-man I probably shouldn't even call him back because I don't really know his background or his whole story but the spider-man that's going against Miles this is probably going to, to, to be a, hmm, a, a, a battle to where they're going to have to try to convince man to not do what he's trying to do because it's probably going to disrupt some shit. But yeah, I'm excited to see. The animation looks basically on the same, a uh, similar kind of um, wavelength as the first one. And yeah, I'm not too mad at it. I'm very curious to see exactly what this movie is going to be about, especially with me being a mom and understanding. I have a 14-year-old, y'all. Y'all probably don't know this, but I have a 14-year-old. 
Dealing with teenagers is not easy, okay? It's not easy at all. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this with me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.